What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Real Estate Agent Playbook. Today, I'm so lucky to be joined by a business partner and friend of mine, Emily Birch. She is a realtor on the Eastern Plains of Colorado. She's had her license just under a year, as close to six transactions, just under $4 million in volume. And she's absolutely doing it on her terms. Her, you know, faith and family and all of that comes absolutely first. And she told me that from the beginning and it's evident in her work ethic. She's taking care of business, but she's also uh, very uh, steadfast in those values, which is super important to us here at the Wolfpack. So uh, want to bring her story to you and see if maybe she can inspire you or you know, maybe make you feel like you can make this happen. Uh, if you are interested in connecting with her, please check out the comments below. I'll link all of her stuff. And if you're interested in partnering with her, she'd be happy to discuss that with you uh, as we'll touch on a little bit of her uh, background in the multi-level stuff shortly. So without further ado, let's dive in, bringing you Emily Birch from the EXP Wolfpack in the Eastern Plains of Colorado. What's up, everybody? As I mentioned, I have Emily Birch here, who is a member of my downline at the EXP Wolfpack, and I'm super excited to share her story with you. She is absolutely dominating her first year in real estate as we, we kind of get closer to her year anniversary, and I just wanted to share her success story. So, Emily, thanks so much for coming on. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Do you want to give us a little bit of background about who you are and who you were before uh, we had we had Emily Birch, the realtor? So I don't know. I've had many lives, I guess. Um, I'm not not a young realtor, so uh, started out in corporate construction. Had a couple babies. Um, wanted to stay home with them, so I ran an in-home daycare. Um, then I did network marketing for quite a while. I love my network marketing friends and support them, but that's not really, I don't want to be worried about the end of the month deadlines and numbers, you know? Um, so in 2018, had a really lucrative network marketing company, um, had ended the daycare a year before. Um, I am a big vision board person. So we had a picture of property um, on my vision board. And after traveling to the Midwest, got tired of living in the land of fences and came home, looked at that vision board and said, how much can we sell this house for? Um, so we bought 35 acres and we've spent the last few years building a farm and a house. Um, so 2020 happened and I um, we lost our son and I was done with network marketing. Um, not the fault of network marketing, but just I don't want to deal with tons of people um, and their need to fulfill orders at 11.59 on the 30th, right? Um, so my husband said, why don't you do real estate? You love construction. We've remodeled, we've bought, we've sold. You've been a drafter forever. You've designed a bazillion basements. Why don't you do construction uh, or real estate, right? So I thought, well, that sounds like fun. Um, it took me like a year and a half to get my license because I wasn't in any real hurry. Um, then I got it. And as the world happens, you know, I ended up taking care of my my grandma who was um, going downhill really quick. So that put real estate on the back burner for a little bit longer. Um, and then in February of last year, everything seemed to line up and I finally had the ability to focus on it. Um, now, one thing about me, I've got a daughter who is still in high school. So I don't know that I would actually consider myself like a full-time agent. I thankfully don't have to go and punch a nine to five clock. That's not who I am as a person. Um, and we've got this farm and stuff, but I've had to, you know, balance life. And I love, Jeremy, I love being part of the Wolf Pack because you guys are so awesome about nurturing families right and that that for me is my all so um if there's any mamas or or dads out there who who think i would love to do this but i'm not willing to give up my whole family um i would totally say you can't you can um so 
One of my biggest excitements, if I if I have to come up with an excitement when my daughter leaves for college, my biggest excitement is being able to jump in like wholeheartedly to real estate because I'm a workaholic. So I'm like, I have an extra 80 hours a week, you know? Um, but I guess I haven't done too bad. I closed six transactions, helped six people, you know, realize their dreams in the first year. So I'm kind of loving the real estate gig. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I remember vividly when we were talking about you joining the group and, and that kind of stuff, you're like, I'm not going to do take one second away from my family. And that was super powerful to me um, because that's, you know, I have a family as well. And and that's kind of your, you have everything lined up. You have your why lined out and that's, that's super awesome. I will tell you that I probably think that real estate will be a distraction, not an excitement when, uh, when your daughter leaves for college, but we'll, we'll call it excitement. If you will, I like that word better than distraction, but i um, super excited. Uh, for that, but obviously working, you know, obviously managing the farm, uh, being a parent, obviously you're on the eastern plains of Colorado. So your commute times are a little bit different than some of us in the city to school and grocery stores and things like that. Um, you know, closing six transactions, uh, you know, just under four million in volume your first year is super powerful. And I think a lot of problem that we see in real estate is, you know, when you go to these trainings and, you know, you're at these brokerages, you're managing brokers up on stage or, you know, the number one producers up on stage and you're like, damn, like, how do I, how do I get there? And so that's why I really wanted to, you know, bring you on the channel and just talk about how it is possible, right? That's those six transactions is a very good income and you've built this amazing sphere. You know, you're not doing a lot of, you know, traditional forms, you do the open houses and things like that, but where are you getting, you know, your clients from mainly and how did you get off to such a fast start? Um, so if I break it down, I think three people were friends. One, um, I had met at an open house, one couple, and then two were referrals, which were friends as well, right? Um, when I first started real estate, I was at a, a boutique brokerage and they were fans of um, Ninja Selling. So I had taken that and, um, and they really stress building this business through your sphere of influence. So that's that's how i wanted to do it i'm a people person i like to talk obviously um and i like people and i like to i like to help people reach their dreams right um so for me real estate like when i can help somebody buy a house it's like giving them a baby to me i i absolutely love that when i can help somebody sell their house to get to their next goal it's like giving them a baby, right? Um, so I need something in life that makes me feel like I'm making the world a better place. Um, so I guess five out of six are people I, I knew or knew through others. And that's right. kind of how I've done it. Yeah, absolutely. And that Ninja selling program is uh, key in a lot of the things you do. Um, I'm not going to take all the all the credit for uh, <laughs> for your first six deals for sure. Um, tell us a little bit about your uh, your daily routine as far as Ninja. Obviously, I don't think that you're working 50, 60 hours a week. And so how have you been able to reach that sphere of influence um, in the time that you do have and, and still be present in your daughter's senior year and with your husband and those kind of things? So, um I honestly, Facebook, a lot of it is Facebook. I just, I'm a middle-aged mom, right? That's what we do. Um, so connecting through my friends through that avenue, um, being out, I, I love my church and I love outreach through that. So we had a, and we live in a small town too, right? So we had a Easter Thing throughout the town and one of the the families that I sold their home for this year we were just talking while I'm handing out Easter candy to littles um, one friend I had been on the school board with eons ago um, and she reached out to me on Facebook on a Friday night and wanted to do a for sale by owner and I was like well yeah let me send you the contract so you know what you're gonna be dealing with right um, if, if, if you really think you want to do this 
more power to you. Um, but you're also going to be paying the, the buyer's broker anyhow. So you might as well get some representation, right? Um, I have another friend who's, who's a guy who works for her. Um, she really wanted to see him get into a home so he would stay in Colorado and stay working for her. Um, so I just met him through a, a Memorial Day party. Um, yeah. yeah, just I, I, people know that I like to help. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Um, leading with value, right? That FISBO opportunity. Here's the contract, you know, being like, here you go, go for it. Here's the keys to the car. Uh, you 10 year old, <laughs> see what you can do. I mean, that's huge. And, and all of those things, you know, as you talk about them, it wasn't like somebody came to you and was like, Emily, I'm ready to buy a house. Let's go. Right. It was either a secondary connection, um, going to a party, talking to somebody, you know, developing these relationships. And I think that's so key in the ninja um, model. I'm, I'm Buffini trained and, and they mirror each other pretty well. Um, so that's that's what it is. So you're having these conversations, right? You're you're out in the community. You're doing things you love. You're part of your church. You're, you know, hanging out with your llama. Has your llama got you any deals yet? So she has not, but I do get a lot of people to come to my house to pet that sassy llama. <laughs> All right, perfect. So, so then, you know, the client event that you're speaking of, those kind of things just kind of stay on top of mind and not, I mean, do you feel like you've had to direct sell anyone? Do you think, I mean, I don't know what you did in network marketing, but is it any, have you had to like really sell anything? Anyone. I am not a hunter. Like that is right. not my personality. I'm not going to do it. Right. But you're sure a gatherer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, perfect. So that's, I mean, that's awesome. It's just about that community. Do you have anything that you kind of organize your day or your sphere with? Um, or is it just kind of go out and do your thing and kind of write somebody's name down if they mention real estate? What's your kind of tactics there? So my word for the year is actually discipline. Um, I want to be more scheduled in my day, um, but there's a lot of days that I don't work. So uh, cards, handwritten cards are going to be a big one because I always love when somebody, you know, will take the time enough to send me something. Um, just wishing people happy birthday. Um, I. I do the Facebook birthday list, you know, when I'm blow drying my hair, make sure that everybody um, feels loved that day, right? Um, I do a lot of training still because I want to be that value added person. Um, so if, if I just sit here and think I know everything, well, then I'm not going to be benefiting my friends and people I meet, right? Um, so spend a couple hours in the office a day, but my day doesn't look like your clock puncher. I, that's not who I am. I can't, I can't be that person no matter what I'm doing in life, right? Um, so some days it's, um, I've got a listing that we're getting ready to put on the market right now. So I've been over there helping him. Um, it's just a, a scenario where he needs a little bit of help. So that's looked like my family being there on a Saturday afternoon, right? That's not your, your nine to five Monday through Friday. Um, my daughter's super active in her little world. So um, if hubby's not home and daughter's not home, that means I'm, you know, working when the sun's down. Um, and that enables me to do more daytime stuff with her because she does school at home. So I don't know. I'm... I'm interested to see how it will progress when I don't have all the distractions of all the things I want to do come fall. Um, and if that will be just a more set schedule, um, but just Again, reaching out maybe back making to the people... distraction word. I know right? <laughs> when, when real estate becomes a distraction, look out because you're absolutely managing that time. And it's, it's really cool because a lot of people get in real estate and they're like, Oh, I got to grind. I got to work, you know, everything. And the honest truth is your goals and your income and your closed volume is, is yours alone. Like it has nothing to do with my work, 
um, how many deals I want to do. It's it's your your lane, and I love that you're staying in it. You've been able to, you know, absolutely be an amazing, you know, support to your family and your llamas um, in the meantime. So it's it's really just about kind of being intentional when you're there, being aware, thinking on your feet um, when people kind of come up to you or meet this person, and then it comes into the personality, and you just you know you you serve you start with serving right i've i've had to tell you a couple of times like don't do all that stuff like you don't have to stage every single listing by you know having your daughter go over there and take care of that or fix that light fixture or whatever but it's super awesome that you go the extra mile and i think that's why you've had such amazing success so um that's awesome and and now that the network marketing uh piece comes into play as far as uh bringing agents in your organization um you know, I, I see you as, you know, developing into a, a wonderful leader because you can have that balance, right? You started off with, this is who I am. This is what I'm going to do. Like, if you want me to work a million hours a week and sell a million houses, like I'm, I'm not part of that. And, and the honest truth is it's not something that I care about. I, I bet we value family as, as you know, with our events and things like that, we go to pumpkin patches and, and, and things like that with the Wolfpack family. So, um, if somebody wanted to connect with you, where would the best place to be? I think I know the answer, but I'll let you kind of rattle it off and then we'll link it in the description below. All right. So probably just shoot me an email at Emily Birch Realtor. So E M I L Y B U R C H R E A L T O R at gmail.com. Okay. Yep. Perfect. And and Facebook, uh, we'll we'll probably have people reach out to you on Facebook. No. Same thing. We're gonna yeah. keep it easy. Emily Birch Realtor. Oh, look at you. Um, yeah. perfect. So thanks so much, Emily. And I'm so, you know, proud to be in partnership with you and excited for what the future holds. And uh make sure you finish out that uh, last semester of of uh, senior year with with your daughter and um, I can't wait for uh, you to actually put your all into real estate because you're absolutely crushing it. So uh, super excited to see that. So thanks for tuning in. Her stuff's below. If you have any questions, please comment and we will uh, wrap this up. Thanks, Emily. Thank you so much. Yeah, bye-bye. Wow, just an amazing interview. Emily is so inspiring. I'm so happy to have her as part of our group. Again, we will link her comment in the comments again again we'll link all of her stuff in the comments if you're interested in partnering with her she's an absolute stud and i'm so excited to see what the future holds so thank you so much for tuning in as always like comment subscribe if you have any questions or you would like to be featured on the real estate agent playbook secret sauce let me know we'll talk to you soon Bye bye